let's just listen in once again what Arvind Kejriwal, one of the key members of Team Anna, had to say to us uh, really at this point of time, Team Anna rejecting the government's current proposal as far as the Lokpal bill is concerned. Mr. Kejriwal, from what government sources are telling us, the suggestion that they have made is that the cases which will be referred to the CBI from the Lokpal, for those cases, from what we broadly understand, the CBI will refer back and therefore be responsible to the Lokpal. In your view, what is your reaction to this proposal? No, this is completely, the government is making a fool of the whole nation. Uh, you see, when an investigation is going on, no one has the power to interfere in the investigations of an investigating officer under CRPC. So if Lokpal refers a case to CBI, what control, they are saying that Lokpal, Lokpal would have superintendence and control over CBI for those particular cases. There is no superintendence and control of those cases. CBI will do the investigation in those jobs and refer, send the report back to Lokpal. What is the crux of the problem with CBI is that the administration and finance of CBI is directly under the control of DOPT. And this is, so the transfer of the officers, the selection of officers, repatriation of officers, this is directly controlled by DOPT. And through that, they interfere in the investigations of, informally interfere in the investigations of CBI. The government is not willing to give that up. No, so uh, you are not satisfied uh, uh, unless the DOPT or the government completely washes their hands of the functioning and superintendents or administrative of control of the CBI? I mean, CBI will not, uh, we all know that CBI does not do anti-corruption work. All that the CBI is used is to keep the coalition governments going. And CBI will continue to do that job. It will only be used to keep the coalition governments going. So the government would, uh, you know, if this is the proposal, and we have reason to believe, because from what we are told by sources, that this is substantially the most important part of the proposal in terms of breaking the deadlock over the CBI flashpoint issue, Mr. Kejriwal. Are you... No, Arjun, are you let me just tell you, let me explain it in a common man's word, because whatever I've said is very legal and technical. In a common man's word, you are creating a Lokpal which does not have any investigating power. So I make a, you have, you are creating such a huge, such a, an institution with such a halla gulla. I make a complaint to Lokpal. Lokpal will not even have the power to investigate my complaint. It will have to contract that complaint out to some other agency. It will have to contract it out to CBI, over which Lokpal has no control. So why are you creating such a, I spoke to several people since yesterday when I came to know about it. And everyone says it's completely absurd. Many senior government functionaries have said it's completely absurd proposal that the government is giving. And let me also tell you that in August, the bill that the government brought, there they had given investigative powers to Lokpal. Now they, this particular proposal is even worse than what the government bill was in August. Rather than improving upon the August uh, proposal, they are even going back further. No, so are you, do you not believe that, 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 that in case, I'm just, I'm, since you say you're speaking a common man language, I'm asking you in layman terms. That if, if, if somebody takes a case to you and you take up the case with the CBI, the government is assuring you that those cases will go back to you. So don't you feel you will have control over the destiny and the follow-up oh, of those cases? No, not at all. The officers in that particular case, they will be decided by the government. The government can interfere through those officers in those cases. The outcome of the investigation will finally be decided by the government. So you want the government to give that up? Of course, the government has to give that up. This is what the judgment is in the Vineet Narayan case by Supreme Court. And this is what the government's commitment is in the UN Convention Against Corruption. So in the, the government is not giving up because the government's intentions are unholy. So in the context of your proposed, last question, in the context of your proposed fast uh, protest in Delhi, in Mumbai on 27th, uh, so obviously, this, if this is the position that the government's taken in terms of the proposed bill it is bringing before Parliament, you would continue with your protest on 27th. Yeah, I mean, as of today, what you are saying just now is hearsay. We will take a final call tomorrow once the, we see the final bill. The final bill hasn't been seen by anyone. It's changing every day. So we will see the final bill and take a call.